guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren, thank you so much for watching. Today I'm so excited for Sun Sunday because I have the new Billie Eilish Eilish perfume to review for you guys. I got this a couple days ago now, so I've been testing it and I'm excited to give you guys my thoughts. I'm pretty sure this is sold out. I think it's sold out for sure like an hour at least. I went back and checked and was like, wow, I wonder if it's sold out. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> totally sold out. It came in a box and like the box is actually presented like this and then inside it had a gold box with the perfume inside. Before we get into notes, my thoughts going in initially, cause I definitely had some expectations or like thoughts about what this was gonna be. I do wanna just like give a little bit of attention to this bottle because I think that it's really beautiful and I was very pleasantly surprised that it's quite heavy. <laughs> it definitely has some weight to it and I like that. So the bottle is like a bust with the head sliced <laughs> and the boobs. <laughs> Sliced. It's in a bronzy gold type color and then to take it off you take off the head part It's kind of an awkward shape honestly to hold and to spray and to take the cap off I will say that but I'm pretty sure this outer packaging is actually like a light metal and then this inside piece is plastic The base of the bottle you can see this kind of frosted glass bottle poking through the actual like statue figure So that's what the bottle looks like. I think it's really beautiful and quite classy and it really goes with the whole theme of what she was wanting for this perfume. I was also pretty happy with the price on this. This was $68 and I feel like, again, the bottle being like custom like this and feeling quite heavy, um, that, you know, that was a pretty good price. I think she probably could have charged more knowing she has such a big fan base, but I feel like 68 is pretty typical for a celebrity perfume and this is the 3.4 ounce, so like the big bottle. I wanna take a look at the website, talk about kind of what she was wanting this perfume to be, some of the quotes, read some of the notes from there as well as from Fragrantica and then I'll get into my thoughts. So reading straight from the website it says the inspiration for this campaign was an appreciation for the human body. It's really about embracing yourself, being confident, and loving how you look and the way you feel. There are two different quotes from Billie Eilish on the website. One saying I wanted it to be very inviting but also intimidating, comforting, and a little bit romantic and dreamy. If you guys haven't checked out the actual campaign video I'm gonna leave it linked down below. I'm so Someone who loves perfume commercials as well as like music videos I think that they're always just interesting to watch they're these tiny pieces of media where someone's trying to convey some type of story they're usually kind of artsy um, they're fitting a lot into a very small thing and specifically with perfume commercials or campaigns <laughs> some of them are pretty out there and it's just always interesting how they're gonna convey a scent into a visual medium you know what I mean so um, if you want to check it out it's pretty interesting and I definitely got from the video like you know the body a little bit of like sensuality the toning of it is very warm. So that's what I was expecting from this fragrance. The other quote from Billie Eilish on this scent says, I wanted it to feel like a warm embrace. It's a scent that I've been chasing for years and years and years. It's my favorite smell in the world. And I thought that was interesting, like saying it's her favorite smell. Like she not only just created a scent she wanted to like make, but she's saying this is her fave smell. Last, let's talk about notes from the website. In the top note section, it says, delicate sugared petals accented by juicy mandarin red and red berries invite you to experience this alluring scent. In the heart notes it says immerse yourself at the heart of this fragrance as it unfolds with soft spices, rich cacao, and creamy vanilla. And then in the base notes it says sleek woods and alluring musk leave a lasting impression that is warm, sensual, and powerfully you. And in this picture there's a little bit of smoke which is interesting. I didn't notice that before and that kind of goes into some thoughts that I've had but also Sam had when he smelled it on me. So that's a lot. I know that's a Lot from the website. I know I haven't even gotten into anything that I've smelled about it, but I think it's important because it kind of set up what my expectations were for this fragrance and off of initial smell, it was not what I expected. This is a very sweet fragrance to my nose and obviously that's always any fragrance review is like based off your own thoughts and how you interpret the fragrance. I was not expecting the sweetness in the scent to come off just so incredibly sweet. The, the way the sweetness is translated in here reminds me of pink sugar. Like I'm talking that sweet. This by no means smells like pink sugar. Like it doesn't smell like pink sugar, but the way in the end 
and how the scent of sweet. <laughs> it's almost like it's on the tip of your tongue. You've just dipped your tongue in sugar. That's how sweet the scent is to me in the end. So it was a lot. Let's get into Fragrantica. Um, and I wanna talk about the main accords because I was so excited seeing what the accords were. So the main accords on this are warm, spicy, vanilla, sweet, cacao, amber, powdery, woody, musky, fruity. I'm pretty sure this has changed. When I first came to the site, it was warm, spicy, cacao, then it was vanilla, then it was sweet. And if I could rearrange it, sweet would be number one, then vanilla, then we could get into maybe some warm, spicy, maybe some cacao, but that's not what I pick up. So let's talk about some notes. In the top notes of this fragrance, there is sugar, just straight up sugar. So that should definitely be a big indication to you of what you're gonna smell. Then we have red berries and mandarin orange. I definitely pick up on that sweetness. I definitely pick up on the red berries. I don't get too much of like a citrus note from the orange. Uh, it's just kind of sweet, but nothing about this is that fruity except for that red berry. But even that doesn't quite translate as super fruity in this fragrance. Again, I just get a lot of like, sweetness, like so much sweetness. It says in the middle notes, there's cacao, spicy notes, vanilla, and rose. I would say in, in the opening and even as it's like drying down a bit, I definitely pick up on some spices, but that does not mean that this is a spicy fragrance in that there's nothing actually spicy to my nose. There's no like pink pepper type of spice or um, cardamom type of spice or even how ginger can sometimes translate as spicy. Like none of that like actual spice is coming through. It's more like, I don't, I don't know. If you ask me what spice is in here, I wouldn't be able to tell you, but I do pick up on spices being in here. It's just not a spicy fragrance. I'm definitely getting the vanilla um, and when it comes to the cacao, I really only smell that on the dry down after everything's kind of settled. But even then, it's not like an actual like powdered straight up cacao. It feels more like powdered chocolate milk. Like it, it's a very soft chocolatey scent that has a lot of vanilla in it. And so I don't get something as chocolatey as I was expecting. Again, especially when those first accords were on there, it was like warm, spicy cacao. I was like, where, <laughs> where's that chocolate note? that I really wanted to smell. Anyway, moving on to the base notes, we have woody notes, tonka bean, amber, and musk. So I do smell some of that musk coming through in the dry down as this is wearing on my skin. I'm really picking up a lot of the vanilla. I'm picking up that insanely sweet sugar note. And I feel like that sugar note mixes with the red berries. Like, it's red berry sugar, okay? <laughs> and then Sam told me that like he can smell on me something almost kind of smoky in the dry down. I don't pick that up, but that's what he said. So considering there was a little bit of that smoke on that graphic, I'm like, I don't know what that's about, but that's what he told me. I also feel like this gets a little, I can smell a little bit of something kind of powdery a little bit also, but I'm telling you for my nose, it is like red berry and spices in the beginning. <laughs> along with sweet throughout, but the sweet really hits me with the vanilla more toward the end of my sniff, if that makes sense. And then as the fragrance wears down, it's kind of similar. The spices are still there, but it's less prominent. And really I'm picking up a lot of the sweetness, the vanilla, a little bit of cacao coming through, but it could easily just be a vanilla. And that's what I get. I think I expected this to have more warmth to it. I don't feel like this is a super cozy scent to me and that it's like a warming scent at all. It is sweet and delicious. And you know, I would say gourmandy because it smells like straight up sugar to me, but it's not like a bake. It's not like the oven's on and it's baking. It's not like anything that warm to me. I also expected maybe a little bit more richness, a little bit more depth you know, because of that cacao note and the warm spices, I was expecting something warmer. I was expecting something a little bit richer and full bodied. And it does feel a little less than that than what I expected. And so I was gonna do a first impression, but I just learned from myself, like my thoughts definitely change as I am wearing your fragrance, as I sniff it more, like I need a little bit of time to become accustomed to a fragrance to really get a better grip on what my thoughts are. So when I initially smelled this, I was disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. And I think a lot of that had to do with my expectation, which I don't know how valid that is, <laughs> how much I was just building up what I wanted this to smell like in my head. But as I've been wearing it, I like it more and more, so that's really great. I can smell the spices also more and more. My initial sniff of this, I'm telling you, was just like, I was like, pink sugar. <laughs> 
<laughs> pink goddamn sugar. Is that what I'm getting in this beautiful bottle? Why? But you know, as I smell it more and more, I do smell the nuances of it. I do smell the differences, but I will say like, if you hate how the sweetness of pink sugar is, I don't know if this is going to be right for you because I really think that the way the sweetness translates in this scent is so similar to this. On top of there are a lot of similar notes. This has notes of red berry. This has notes of cotton candy, not sugar, but I mean, hello, same thing. This has notes of mandarin orange and then the base notes are essentially the same as well. This is a lighter fragrance. This is a lot brighter than Eilish. This definitely has more of a richness when comparing it to pink sugar, but I wouldn't say on its own that I find it as deep or like rich as I thought it was gonna be. I get a decent amount of wear time on this fragrance. I do like touching up my perfumes, but I can get a good like five, seven hours where I'm still smelling this. And I find that sweet note lingers, man. That sweet note lingers. I'm constantly smelling it. One of the scents I really was hoping it would be like is Gilded Fox from Pinrose. This is a cacao, warm, spicy fragrance. This does have rum in it, which, you know, there was no rum in this, so I shouldn't have expected it to maybe be this rich and deep, but I do think part of my issue was I was expecting this. I was expecting a way heavier like chocolate note. I was expecting the spices to be a little bit spicier. I was expecting maybe a cardamom note or something like that, you know, um, instead of it being more docile spices, I expected it to be more spicy. So I do feel like my expectations ruined it a little. I love the bottle. Um, I don't dislike the scent overall. Like if I were to smell this in store, I would not buy this based off the scent personally like for me I wouldn't think it smells bad it just wouldn't be something that I would feel the need to maybe have but I didn't get the option to smell this I knew it was probably gonna sell out so I wanted to make sure I got it just in case it became my new favorite and maybe with a little bit of time I'll keep wearing it and love it even more but I think this will be best used in my collection as a layering fragrance using this with fragrances that have similar notes or maybe don't have a lot of sweetness to them even and adding this you know and, and mixing them that way. I think that might be a really nice way for me to use this. And again, I'm really surprised to say that because I've really been loving the sweet scents. I've been loving things with vanilla. I've been enjoying the gourmands, but this isn't that like kind of foodie rich gourmand I've been really craving. There's something about it that's still quite light and airy. And I just can't help but think that this is like pink sugar. I just can't get it out of my mind, you guys. It's pink sugar with spices to me. That's what I get from it. So um, I think I'm gonna leave the review here. It does stay and close pretty well, so that's good. I'm glad that it has some good lasting power, but I just feel like that sweetener is like rock solid, like it's not going anywhere. I don't know when this is gonna come back in stock, so I don't know when it will be available. I'm excited to see what else she comes out with. I'm glad she's created a scent that she really enjoys, and I'm really curious to see how everyone else likes the scent and I'm curious to even see how my thoughts on the scent continue to develop if they do if it stays here if I find that I like it more and more and it just takes a little bit more time to grow on me but so far this is kind of my thoughts and I'm kind of like wondering when I'm gonna wear it like where would I wear this out to I'm I can't quite place it for myself so yeah I'm working on that but let me know, did you guys pick this up? Have you smelled it? If you have, please leave your thoughts down below. I would love to know what you get from it. What do you pick up from it? Because when I was comparing my thoughts to Sam, my husband, he definitely picked up on the spices faster than I did. And he also, like I said, smelled almost like a smoky note on me, which I don't pick up at all. Like I'm telling you, I get like, it's just straight up vanilla and sweetness. So I feel like there's a lot of room for maybe other people to pick up something I don't. So let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you're interested in this perfume. I'm excited to see what else she comes out with. I love the bottle, so I'm happy about that. And I'm gonna leave the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.